Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My name is Abdul Rahman, and I am from the Department of PS Chemistry. Today, my presentation topic is diverse ion effect. So here is a table of contents in which we will firstly discuss about common ion effect and then diverse ion effect, effects of ionic strength, activity and activity of coefficient, property of activity of coefficient. So uh, the dissociation of a peak electrolyte is decreased by adding because um, Firstly, I I would like to tell you about some uh, about the fact of common ion effect, and because it is the um, opposite of diverse ion effect, so we should know about what is a common ion effect, then we will understand um, what is the diverse ion effect. So the dissociation of a weak electrolyte is decreased by adding to the solution um, a strong electrolyte that has an ion in a common with the weak electrolyte. So when we uh, add a weak electrolyte in a solution, um, so the ions, uh, its ion uh, partially dissociate into uh, into a different and then maintain its uh, maintain an equilibrium in um, between them. But when we add an um, a strong electrolyte which have same um, common ion, like for example, uh, ACN is a weak electrolyte. When we add it in a solution, it dissociate and maintain an equilibrium. Then we will add a strong electrolyte. Uh, as uh, for example potassium cyanide so we can see that there is um there is a common ion cyanide and cyanide so uh, due to this uh, the concentration of cyanide will be increased and it disturb the equilibrium condition and then the solubility of the salt will be decreased so it's the effect, the phenomena, the, this whole phenomenon is called as common impact. But the diverse ion effect, it's uh, um, it's opposite. And uh, when we add um, a lacto, when we add um, a solution in the, when we add a, str a strong electrolyte or weak electrolyte in a solution, so it increases the uh, uh, solubility of a solution. Addition of any soluble compound to a saturated aqueous solution of a slightly soluble gas or solid is found to cause a small change in the solubility of the gas or a salt. This phenomenon is sometimes referred to be sorting in or sorting out. So in this sorting in, we discuss about diverse ion effect. It is referred as direct, uh, diverse ion effect, but in the sorting out in which the solubility will be decreased, it's called as sorting out, compound for solution. It is also referred to as a diverse ion effect. The effect of ionic strength. So the effect of added electrolyte on an equilibria is independent of the chemical nature of the electrolyte, but depend on a property of the solution called as the ionic strength, which is defined as we can uh, define our uh, ionic strength with this uh, formula, where A, B, and C with the brackets represent the species molecular concentration we uh, discussed in our um, previous classes in second year, first year, or nine ten, which is uh, this is shown uh, in the uh, law of mass action, which is shown in the molar concentration. So it uh, represents the molar concentration, and then the uh, ZA, B, and ZC are their charges. The ionic strength of the solution of a strong electrolyte condition solely of singly charged ion is identical to its total molar salt concentration for solution with ionic strength of 0.1 molar or less the electrolyte effect is independent of the kind of ionic ions and that depends only on the ionic strength activity of coefficient the activity or the effective concentration of a species x depend on the ionic strength of the medium and is defined by the ax and the x gamma x where Ax is the activity of the species and X is a molar concentration and the gamma X is the dimension of quantity called the activity of coefficient. So um, th there is a, uh, some similarity in the ionic strength and the activity of coefficient. Let me explain this. Um, for example, we have three uh, beakers and in this beaker we have uh, same, um, same uh, solution of, uh, for example, of a brine. So, uh, first, um, in this, uh, the first is concentrated. Uh, the solution of brine is uh, one liter, and other two uh, because also is uh, containing one um, liter solution of brine. But when we add some salt in it, and uh, which is about 0 0.01 mole, uh, it's generate the and current. Um, it's it's generate very less current, which is almost. Um, Sim, uh, similar with the second uh, type of uh, second uh, beaker, but when we increase the concentration of the 
of the salt in a solution so uh, the charges which uh, will repel to each other and then it increase the solubility um, which increases uh, the uh, electricity due to their electrostatic force and the um, uh, highly uh, co uh, collision and due to highly collision which is um, the effect of the ionic strand but uh, in the first two bigger i discussed that um, I mentioned before that uh, two uh, in the two uh, biggest um, quantity of uh, the the uh, passage of electricity or generation uh, gen generating of electricity will be same. So this is due to the activity of uh, ions or charge in uh, in these in in both uh, beakers. The activity of species is a measure of its effective concentration as determined by the colligative property. If we substitute a x for x in any equilibrium constant expression, we find that the equilibrium constant is then independent of the ionic strand. To illustrate the point, if xm and yn is precipitate, the thermodynamic solubility of product expression is defined by the equation. So we can define this equation. Uh, we can define this by this equation. Um, the K and SP is a concentration solubility product constant, and the KSP is a thermodynamic thermodynamic equilibrium constant activity and um, uh, they have the following properties the activity coefficient of a species is measured that of the effectiveness which uh, with which that species influence and equilibrium in which it's a participant in very dilute solution in which the ionic strength is minimal this effectiveness become constant and the activity of coefficient is unity under these circumstances, the activity and the molar concentration are identical. As the ionic strength increase, and I loses some loses some of its effectiveness and its activity coefficient decrease. So we will discuss. We uh, were discuss about it that uh, due to the increasing of the uh, ionic strength, the the activity of coefficient will be decreased. Uh, in solution that are not too concentrated, the activity of coefficient for a given species is independent of the nature of the electrolyte and depend only on the ionic strength. Uh, as I mentioned before, when the solution is concentration concentrated, uh, very concentrated, then the ionic strength then it's only depend on the ionic strength. Uh, I mentioned before uh, with the example of um, the electrostatic force and the repulsion force. Uh, for a given ionic strength, the activity coefficient of an ion decreases more dramatically from unity as the charge on the species increase. The activity of coefficients of an uncharged molecule is approximately unity, no matter what the level of ionic strength. And number five, at any given ionic strength, the activity of coefficient of ion of the same charge are approximately equal. The smaller variation among ions of the same charge can be correlated with the effect of diameter of hydrated ions. The activity of coefficient of a given ion describes its effective behavior in all equilibria in which it precipitates. Thank you. That's all from my side.